Hello Cubs and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the new attack strategy that Camel has brought out on the game War of Destiny. Now as you can see I've got my castle here and I plan on attacking this castle here. Now the usual march time to this castle is 38 seconds but because Camel has brought out a new stra attack strategy I have placed my troops next to the castle. In order just to place troops anywhere on the map, all you do is click an empty space and click the button go. It will send your troops to an empty space. Now, I want to attack this castle, usually it takes me 38 seconds. So now if I click attack, and you can see here on top it says Q1, the clock above it, 10 seconds, is now how long it took me to get to that castle. So as soon as I click go, my troops will march from where they're positioned to the castle. We have them to hit the castle first. Now what you can do here is if you click your march, you can actually drag your march and reverse it back and attack the castle again. So instead of actually waiting 38 seconds for your troops to come back, you can instantly attack the enemy castle again. So after attacks again, I can just click my march and I can drag it to any empty space on the map. So if I want to put them there, my troops redirect and go back to that empty location. Now I know you probably are wondering asking why would I want to do that. Basically, 38 seconds to attack once, 38 seconds to come back. That's nothing. Now if the enemy castle was nine minutes away, you could send your troops to a straight nine minute mark to attack them. And then you have to do another 9 minutes back. However, what I believe to be the best strategy is if you position your troops next to the castle first. Yes, maybe 9 minutes and you're thinking who's going to wait 9 minutes for the troops to arrive. Let's all be frank here, it costs 2,000 gold for a teleportation and another 2,000 to get back. It's 4,000 gold. Are you willing to waste that much gold for one attack? So what I, what I believe is the best is basically if you position your troops next to or near an enemy base, no matter how far they are, this way the Alliance does not get any notification that an attack is inbound. If they pay attention to the map and they see someone marching to the empty space next to them, that may raise suspicion. However, they don't get any notification that there's attack inbound and then we're not only that, instead of marching 9 minutes back, you can instantly attack the enemy castle again within 10 seconds compared to 9 minutes. Overall, this attack strategy is only best as part of a group attack. So whether you want to do a time attack with your alliance. So as you can see, when you click on and click attack, you have the time above your Q1 how long it gets to the castle so you can still do a time attack with your alliance on there. The only reason why I say it's best as a time attack is because there is a few cons to doing this. The first con is whatever troops survive that attack will be the remaining troops in the march. So if you send 50k and lost 20k you will only have 30k left to attack with. That will only refresh once you bring your troops back to your castle. Same goes for plundering resources. So if you want to attack someone's farm and plunder their resources, you will be only able to do that. You only can plunder up to your march's max limit. So say if your march has, I don't know, a, a million worth of resources to plunder, they can only get, uh, plunder a million. They can't plunder over that until they come back to your castle. So like I said, yeah, there is a couple of cons to it. This is why I would not recommend it as a solo attack unless you have a stupidly strong castle that can take on anybody. But don't forget, your enemy base where you're attacking can still be reinforced during this time. So play it smart. 
like I said, it's a good strategy because you can march near your enemy's castle and not give them any notification that the attack is incoming. So it basically could be a sneak attack. Like I said, there's a couple of cons to it, but there is a few pros to it. Personally, I won't use it if I time attack on my alliance. I would not use it in a solo battle. Thank you for listening. If you could please like and subscribe to my channel. And please comment below of any videos you would like in the future. I am working towards what is the best formation. However, I am only Castle 14 at the moment. So I need to build up my troops more. So I can test on my farm which is the best formation, which I believe. I do have a few theories, but I would rather test and show you the results instead of just going all out. Thank you.